your position. Watch what happened. Give me a couple of minutes and I'll be out of here. So the Bible says, and it came to pass that these things, according to the word of the Lord, it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, well, they don't want to go there. That's enough from that point. So he took her whole household, all right? Took her her whole household. Let's go to 1 Samuel. We're going to close with this verse here. 1 Samuel chapter 1. 1 Samuel chapter 1. This signifies a lot of our lives today because God has called us as, as, as Bishop Metzler has been teaching on us to greatness. He has called us to the point whereby he has created us to be great. He has called us to greatness. And the reason why we are great and we have called us to greatness is because he's great. Amen. Notice what the Bible says. In the book of Romans, the Bible says, and, I, and I'm just going to give a part of the verse, but I'm going to get the part that I want you to hear. And that is that the world to build and pay waiting for the sons of God to be revealed. The world is travail, mm -hmm. in pain, yes. waiting for the sons of God to be revealed or to be manifest. Amen. Okay? Watch this. The word manifest doesn't mean that it don't exist. The word manifest means that it's there. You just don't see it yet. Mm-hmm. Okay? All right. All right. So in other words, the world is travailing in pain, waiting for the sons of God to get in their positions. Right. Because when you are out of your position, mm -hmm. it's hard to minister people deliverance. Yes. Right. Because if you're not in your proper position, then that means that the anointing of God is not flowing the way it should be flowing. Have you ever seen people that can preach good but no results? You talking? Hello. Have you ever seen preachers that can preach? And, and when they get through preaching, it looks like there's no results. A lot of them because they, have, they are not in the right position by which they're called to be. Because let me tell you something. If God has called you the pastor and you function over in an evangelistic area, guess what's going to happen? Nothing. Right. You talking? You're out of your calling. Right. You're out of your position. Right. If God called you to be the, the talk, you ain't got no business fooling around up here by the ear. If God called you to be the high, why are you running around talking about what you said? <laughs> <laughs> Making it plain. Every member of your body is important. And the only way your body is going to function properly is every member is in his right position, doing his right thing, and you will be a more healthier person. Yeah. Yeah. Look at your neighbor's I'm depending on you to get in your position now. I can't scratch that itch. I got an itch. I can't scratch it. The Bible says like this. What happens? If the whole body was a big old eye, it could see things, but it can't move, it can't hear, it can't speak, it can't do nothing, but sit there and look. I wish I could do something about your problem. <laughs> Hello? See, y'all laughing, but that's what happened to the church one day. The Bible said that this man brought his sons to his disciples and said, Lord, I brought my lunatic son to your disciples. They couldn't get the devil out of him. <laughs> All they could do is sit there and look. You know why? Because they weren't in their position. Jesus came to them and said, how long should I be with you? This guy only comes out by what? Fasting and praying. When the church starts fasting and praying again, then we'll get in position to start casting out devils. You're talking, you're talking. We're supposed to. Because you can rest assured, folks just going to bring their problems and drop it off at the church because we said that we can do it. Where were we going? First, First Samuel. First Samuel chapter 20.